Hi guys, so you, if you're not from America or maybe England, don't know if you're familiar with this fairy tale. The fairy tale is called Goldilocks and the Three Bears. And the gist of it is that there's these three bears and they cook some porridge, but then they go out for a walk while it cools. And then Goldilocks, this mischievous kid, breaks into their house and decides to no, I think she might sleep in her bed or sit in their chairs or something, but she definitely, as you can see from the picture, she definitely eats their porridge. But the thing is, at first she tries one bowl and she says, this porridge is too hot. Then she tries this bowl. She says, this porridge is too cold, too cold. And then she tries the middle bowl and she says, this porridge is just right terms of temperature and then she eats that one so what am I talking about how does this apply to GRE math prep well the point of this video is to kind of explain why I don't really like online GRE math courses or a lot of GRE math courses in general because they are one size fits all and people who prepared for the GRE are not one size fits all so let's see what I mean here let's say the two hot bowl is if you are just you, I'm just going to say you suck at math. Okay, so let's think about your experience taking a GRE course, like a video course or something. You may need a lot more remedial help than that course is going to allow for because GRE prep is not designed to really teach concepts it's designed to more so brush up on them and then provide practice. So if you're not really feeling like you can handle a particular GRE book or course, it may just be, be because you need a lot more foundation and a lot more practice until you can actually like get the benefit from that course or that course's material. And you don't need to go back and like retake math in high school, but it might be helpful for you to go through Khan Academy on my blog on vincecoaching.com, I have a guide to using Khan Academy with the ETS Math Review to make sure you know things conceptually. That might be a good step in the right direction if you really feel like you just don't know the math at all or are totally struggling. So that's why taking a course first might not work for you. Think about Khan Academy and the ETS Math Review perhaps first and keep in mind that might take you way more work than you know somebody who's better at math than you way more hours to become good at math but you know that's the way it is now let's think about the person over on the opposite side of the spectrum this person is good at math hey well you know what you might need less work and the thing about the course and i'm thinking of magoosh here in particular there might be a shitload of videos in that course that just you don't need they're just going to be like a waste of your time and a lot of you know, maybe even the practice material might be a waste of your time because you, my friend, uh, just like everybody else, needs to become proficient with ETS material. So I would potentially recommend going straight to that and kind of working backwards um, and getting more practice maybe with something like the, I'm just going to write it down here, the Manhattan five pound if needed. Manhattan five pounds, sorry, that's kind of not the most legible. The Manhattan five pound, if needed, to brush up or get some repetition with concepts that you forgot. But ultimately, the more ETS material you get through and become, uh, you know, you get through and become proficient with by lots and lots of practice, the better you're going to be at the real GRE. And that might be pretty much all you need if you're already really good at math. Now, let's think about this person in the middle. This person might be the person the course really works best for. If you were good at math, you were good at math, but you have just sort of forgotten a lot. and You're just kind of rusty. Let's just say you're rusty, which means you're just out of practice. But at some point you knew the math. The course might work better for you. But even with that said, you know, courses are one size fits all and inevitably, it's probably either going to be like sort of too much for you to handle or it's going to waste a bunch of your time. So this is why I have trouble like thinking about even making a math course because there's going to be so many people it doesn't quite work for. 
And instead, what I like to do is work with people individually to kind of come up with a custom study plan for math. And ultimately, everybody needs the same thing for math. They really need as much experience as possible with the ETS official quant because the real GRE is written by ETS and that's who we want to get used to. The more experience you have, the more likely it is that when a random question pops up on the screen during your actual GRE test, that it's going to remind you of something you've seen before because you've done so much ETS material and you've analyzed your mistakes and tried to learn lessons from them. The only exception to, to that is really the Manhattan five pound in my eyes. And that's to maybe get a little more repetition or you feel if you feel like you're rusty with something. And then, of course, the person, if you're just really bad at math, you know, you might need to start with Khan Academy and the ETS math review. So feel free to reach out to me if you're like, hey, I don't really know how to go about studying math because I don't know where I stand. And I might be able to make some suggestions. The study plans on my website, that's kind of what those are designed to do. You just have to keep in mind it's not one size fits all.